Hey traders, welcome back. Today is August the 8th, 2021, and this is a very, very, very late update to our asymmetric trading system results. Uh, I am two months behind, well, really one month behind. Uh, we need to look at June and then the month that has just ended, which is July. So these are the results for our last two months in the trading, and then we'll sum up where we're at year to date in the program. Still very, very happy with our results as they are progressing quite nicely um, with a couple of little blips here and there. Uh, let me back out of this for just a second so we can look at every single day here. This is the month of June. So we started the month of June with about 35895 That was my account value that I started with. And uh, you can see as the days progress there, this is every single day of June that my account value Grew. You can see that there were some gains and there were some losses there uh, along the way. Again, starting the month with 35,895. Uh, we grew and we gave back. We grew and gave back. We ended the month at 35,625. So again, starting the month at uh, 35,895. And at the end of the month, when everything was said and done, it was 35. 625. That gives us a result for the month of June of a 200, and again, this is basing on my account value, a $270 loss for the month on a $35,895 starting capital balance. So about seven tenths of 1% loss on the month for June. It was a negative alpha, meaning we did not outpace the market, uh, seven tenths of a 1% negative return versus a 2.2% gain for the S&P 500. We were profitable nine days out of the month versus 13 losing days, where the market only had nine losing days. So we did have 24% less risk than the volatility of the market based on standard deviation but we weren't quite able to match the results of the marketplace. And that happens from time to time, but it wasn't too horrible of a drawdown on a month. We go to the month of July, and uh, again, let's back out here so we can look at the whole entire month here. The month of July, again, uh, we start, uh, there we go, month of July, uh, we start off the month with 35.580. And uh, you can see again, every single day here, we had a great month in July. We had a couple of big jumps here along the way. The thing that really helps our asymmetric trading system is that it really performs quite well in down markets. And of course, the market has really just gone up and up and up and up. Uh, and so when we do have those down days, it really, really helps us uh, because we can usually uh, gain pretty much the same profit on a down day that the market loses. In other words, the market loses 1.5%, we can usually gain 1.5%. But of course, if the market's not going down, that doesn't help us. So it did help us a little bit in July. Uh, we had some pretty darn big days here. You can see, again, starting off the month at 35,580. Here's every single day, day by day approach. And we ended up the month, uh, I ended up the month at $40,084. If we look at the results there again now, for July, you can see that it was a massive gain for the month, $4,504 gain for the month on a $35,580 starting capital balance. It's about a 12.66% gain in the month. It was obviously positive alpha, very positive alpha. About 12.66% return on the month versus 2.33% for the S&P 500. We had 13 profitable days in the market versus eight losing days, and the market had nine losing days. 12% uh, less risk than, and volatility than the marketplace. So we didn't really do a whole heck of a lot better job. We did have, have uh, quite a bit of volatility in the month of July uh, that uh, sort of didn't give us really the edge that we were hoping to have. But of course, it was offset by a massive, massive gain that we ended up with in July. And so here we go, our performance January 1st of this year, the start of this year to right now, the end of July. You can see uh, that we had, uh, we've had we had two negative months during the year versus just one negative month for the S&P, but our gains have outstripped the S&P quite substantially. The stock market, the S&P 500 as we measure it, is up about 17.02% so far year to date through the end of July versus our model portfolio, which is up 29.03%. So we are handedly, handedly beating the market. But of course, the real key here 
is not just that we are beating the market, but that we are doing it by taking less risk. And that's really the dual fold mandate is not just to beat the market, but to do it with less risk. So here we are uh, pretty much halfway through the year right now. And uh, I could not be any happier with the AST results. Just absolutely thrilled uh, with where the portfolio is going. Um, you know, here we are um, uh, just uh, going into seven, eight months now into the portfolio. And from the starting balance that I had January 1st, I am just a few dollars right now as we speak. This is August 8th uh, as I'm filming this. Right now as we speak, I'm just a very few dollars away from my all-time high value in the account. And of course, that's awesome. So I couldn't, uh, couldn't ask for more than that. So anyway, uh, absolutely just a, a killer performance so far. Uh, we're starting off the month of August uh, pretty darn solid as well. We'll obviously touch base at the end of August with our results and our update at that point. Have a good uh, rest of your week trading, folks, and we'll talk to you soon.